um, from the Bible. Today I will make an English video about mental illness. I talked about it in a Swedish video and I will talk about it in this video and I hope you will enjoy it. It's so many people in our world that have uh, mental illness, in, um, depression, anxiety, problems with sleeping, or maybe you are bipolar or schizophrenia or whatever it can be. And um, I have some experiences from, um, from being uh, sick. Um, it started very early when I was about 12 years old. I had um, depressions and I had anxiety. And um, I don't know why I had this and where it came from. If it came from the brain or maybe some things in my childhood also, but it can be things in the body, you know, in the brain like that. And I struggled with this many years during the school time and when I got into the higher gymnasium. <laughs> uh, and uh, I enjoyed um, my education. I went to theater school and I enjoyed it very much. It was very funny, but I struggled with these depressions and I got some medications. At first they didn't help, but then I got the better medicine who helped me. But when I was about 26 years old, I got saved. I got a belief in God, a serious belief in Jesus Christ. And I went to a Bible school. It was called Charisma Center. And uh, I liked it a lot, even if it was uh, many things that weren't biblical and weren't good, you know, for me. And then I went to another Bible school called Arken Bible School. And it was the faith movement, um, well known around the world. And... Um, it wasn't good in many ways. At first I met God's love and the Holy Spirit's presence and it felt good in many ways. But um, uh, I have I had a sensibility and the education went outside the Bible. And those two things made me ill and I went into a psychiatric hospital. And uh, I was there during a month, first in Stockholm, then in Hamstam, my hometown. And um, it was very, very, a very difficult time. And uh, I had a psychosis and I heard voices in my head. And uh, it was a very difficult time. And I was very ill, both mentally and physically, very weak. And when, when I came out of the hospital, it took some time to come back to, uh, to life again, to come back to being functional again. And um, after this time, I, uh, I struggled a lot with uh, many things. But slowly I came back. To, to life again and uh, I have to say that my faith in God helped me not that not that I was a strong believer in, in that way but God can give you inner safety give you inner peace and I I really believe that uh, with medicine and and a belief in God you can make this with mental illness. And I really recommend to believe in God. Start reading the Bible and believe in Jesus, what he did for you on the cross when he died for our sins. He really loves you and he wants to help you. And there are many promises in the Bible. There are many Bible words that you can read that could help you when you struggle with mental illness. 
we have Psalms 91, you can read, and we have Romans 8, that nothing can uh, separate us from God's love. And uh, you don't have to be afraid. The Bible talks very much about not being afraid. Many, many times the Bible talks about not being afraid. And in Psalm 23, he talks about, God talks about that even if you walk in the shadow of the valley, in the valley of the shadow, or <laughs> shadow of the valley, valley um, he is with you. He will strengthen you. He will comfort you. And you don't have to go there alone. And um, I just want to say that you should never give up. And I'm going to read a Bible word from Romans 8. Um, Romans 8 and 28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Purpose, But those God foreknow, he also predestined to be comforted to the likeness of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And, also, and then I go down to 37, verse 37. Knowing all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death or nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, ne neither height or depth, not anything else in all creation, would be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord, also, in, also, nothing can separate us from the love of God, not demons, not angels, nor death, nor high. He is always with you, and he loves you. And if you don't know Jesus, get to know him. <laughs> Just invite him into your heart and say, yes, I want to be your child. Forgive me my sins. I want to believe in you, and I want to go into eternity to heaven one day with you so what we, shall we say about mental illness is so usual both in sweden in and in the world but if you if you get help from medicines or nurses or and doctors you can be very thankful and i am thankful that it helps me but I have days when I'm very tired and exhausted and I can't do so much. So I just work a little, I can say, and I write books and I do what I can. But um, it's not so easy to be employed when you have these struggles with to be exhausted sometimes. I want to thank you that you listened and... If you want to, you can subscribe on, on, on my channel and you can like if you want to or give a comment. And maybe you can tell about your experiences about mental illness. Thank you that you listen. It's very fun that you visit my channel and God bless you.